Hi guys, my name's Sam from Core Electronics and today we're going to walk through how you can rotate the video output on your Raspberry Pi, any model of Raspberry Pi, and also how you can get rid of that annoying black border that can sometimes be around your screen. So if you're using a display, I've got the official Raspberry Pi 7 inch touchscreen display here along with the Pimeroni case which is incredibly popular. But with most of these cases and mounts for the screen, it actually mounts the display upside down. And a lot of people get this and plug it in and say, oh, I must have done something wrong. They go and redo the steps and it can be really frustrating. But it's really, really easy to just adjust this in software. Not an issue at all. So we're going to take a look at how to do this. I'm going to be doing it in the terminal interface where, uh, because we need to edit the config.txt file, which can be found in the boot directory. You can also just take your SD card out of your Pi, put it into a card reader on your computer, uh, and you can edit the file there, but it's a little clunky, it's not as easy, and it's definitely a lot easier to just do it in the terminal. So, here goes. Now, to go into this, let me zoom in a bit. Can I zoom? Control plus doesn't seem to be working for me. Give me a moment, I'm gonna do this the clunky way by clicking a lot of times. All right, there we go. Seems a reasonable size. So to get into the config text editor, you might have done this before. We want to write sudo nano slash boot slash config.txt. So some directory navigation. We get taken to the config.txt file here. Make it a bit bigger. So to rotate, what we need to do is use a command called display underscore rotate or LCD underscore rotate. They're two different ones for two different cases. Now display underscore rotate simply rotates the whole output of the video display as you would expect. However, if you have a touch screen, all of the touch inputs will still be in their original orientation, which is an issue. So if you're using a touch display, you want to use LCD underscore rotate, which will also rotate the touch imports and function exactly like you would inspect, uh, expect. So a few differences there, but they're not too major. So all we need to do is go to the bottom of your file. You can put it somewhere else, like it might make sense to put it with the rest of the um, uh, display things here, but down the bottom, just make sure it's gonna work exactly like you'd expect. So display underscore rotate. Now we make this equal to either zero, one, two, or three. Zero is no rotation, one rotates at 90 degrees clockwise, two is 180 degrees, and three is 270 degrees clockwise, or in other words, you know, it goes uh, round, uh, you know, uh, 90, uh, sorry, uh, right, left, sorry, right, down, left, up. Uh, there we go. So if we put zero, no rotation, let's put one. And to do this, we need to save the file, control plus X, then press Y and then enter. And we need to reboot for any of these changes to take effect because the config file is read upon boot. It won't actually make any changes now. We need to go sudo reboot. When this reboots, we'll see the whole display is actually rotated on its side. And you'll notice in the editor that a lot of the lines were commented out using hash symbols. You might be familiar with this in the terminal already, but if you're not, all that does is makes it a comment. So instead of it being an actionable line of code, uh, the hash symbol just makes it plain text so you can describe and leave yourself notes. And also it's a really good way of toggling features on and off without having to delete them and rewrite them every time. This is kind of weird. <laughs> We're rotated here, and you can see it is rotated, so we need to go back into the editor because this is rather unusable as it is. All right, I'm gonna comment that out. I'm going to reboot because I can't go on with that. So there you have it. Uh, that's rotation, and again, LCD rotate if you're using a touch screen, and display rotate if you're using a standard screen. Uh, now, you can also flip the screens very little use case I can see for this, but exactly the same way, uh, display, rotate, uh, then we're using a hex number here, so 0x1 followed by 4 zero. so 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, yep, that was the right number. All right, let's zoom in a bit. I'm not sure why this doesn't save the zoom. Oh, it's been a while since I've dived into Raspberry Pi. I'll take a look at how to do that. All right, but we're here. So I won't go into the flipping. You can do that if you want. I've got some examples here in the tutorial, if we scroll down. Yeah, you can see what you need to do to flip it there. Uh, but the other thing I said we were going to look at is how to remove that black border, which is also the underscan. All right, so we're rebooting here. All good. 
sure why that just did a reboot. I might have accidentally uh, unplugged the power. It's a little bit frustrating. Oh well. Everything's just clean cut sometimes. This is really frustrating to zoom in. I'll make sure I find a really good solution to work around for the next video. Uh, the last thing is getting rid of that overscan. Now we need to go into the config file again. Uh, scroll down and you'll see a line called disable underscore overscan equals, it should be one. I've altered it a little bit to make it um, exact as it needs to be because this is an image I've used before. So disable uh, underscore overscan equals one. Now if we comment that out and reboot, that's going to do exactly what we wanted. It'll remove that border. Um, and then if you want to change it back to having that um, overscan, you can either uh, recomment out the line or change that one to a zero. But if we do that, let's go into a reboot here. Plenty of rebooting because we want everything to take effect. And as soon as it reboots, you'll see that there's no border at all. And again, really simple, but a little unintuitive. And there we have it, Raspberry Pi rebooting exactly as you would expect. And that is how you can easily adjust the display output settings for your Raspberry Pi. All you need to do is go into the terminal. It's not scary, it's really easy. And if you have any questions or comments, then uh, jump in, start the conversation below. I'd love to hear back from you. And if there's anything else you would like us to cover in some future tutorials, then be sure to get in touch. That's all for today, guys. Keep an eye on for some future tutorials and happy making.